family celebrate Christmas and we actually have a really specific routine that we do on Christmas every single year it's lots of fun so I'm gonna share it with you it's basically first of all me and my sisters we wake up together before my parents and then we go in their room and we wake them up because we're all excited it's Christmas and then we come downstairs together and we open gifts under the tree and that's lots of fun it usually takes a while because we go one by one we look at everyone's gifts it's really fun and then we make breakfast, we eat that, we spend most of the day watching a Christmas story on TV, and then we just spend the rest of the day preparing for dinner, because we have a huge family dinner at the end of the day, it's lots of fun, it's a great time, and yeah, that's our Christmas, and I'm really happy I get to spend it with my family, and happy holidays to everyone. Christmas, Christmas time is near, time for toys and time for cheer. We've been good, but we can't last. Hurry, Christmas, hurry fast. What a plane that moves the loop. Me, I want a hula hoop. We can hide. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock, jingle bell. 
annually celebrates Hanukkah. And for all eight of the nights, each night we receive, you know, one present. And before that, we light the menorah um, and we say the pr prayers for that. Um, and then before the presents, we have dinner. And at least on one of those nights, we usually have a Jewish food called latkes, which are just basically fried potato pancakes. I mean, they're pretty good. You usually have them with applesauce or uh, sour cream. So it's usually a good time. Holly, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about my family's traditions as we celebrate St. Nicholas Day on the 5th and 6th of December. We listen to Dutch music and wait for candy to be thrown through the front door. We leave shoes outside to be filled with gifts by Sinterklaas or St. Nicholas. One of my favorite traditions is chocolate letters. We each get a chocolate shaped in the letter of our first initial. Um, this is a popular Dutch tradition and one of my favorite parts of this awesome holiday. Bum, 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 bum,
Hi, my name is Freya Shafiq, and in light of Miss L's initiative for inclusion in this winter showcase, I'm here to talk to you about a Muslim holiday called Eid. Eid occurs twice in the year under two different names, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Eid al-Fitr marks the end of the month of Ramadan, when Muslims fast and reflect on the past year. Eid al-Adha marks the ultimate sacrifice of the Prophet Ismail, known as the first son of Abraham in Christianity. Both holidays are celebrated with families dressing up in their best clothes, exchanging gifts, and spending time with their loved ones. With the winter holidays coming up, it's important to acknowledge those who do celebrate during this time and those who don't. Thank you once again to Ms. Lazarevich for giving me the chance to share a piece of my culture and religion with all of you. Happy holidays!
the circus clown. We'll have lots of fun with Mr. Snowman until the other kitties knock him down. When it snows, ain't it thrilling? Blow your dog. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Helen Keller In Dr. Seuss's The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, the mean-tempered Grinch learns from the Who's that Christmas has a deeper meaning he had never considered. Inspired, he stops their belonging from falling off the edge of a mountain. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And then the true meaning of Christmas came through and the Grinch found the strength of 10 Grinches plus two. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are as a cactus, you're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders, you've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and one half foot pole. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, wasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote Stink, stank, stunk. Nauseate me, Mr. Grinch, with a nauseous super nos. You're a crooked jerky jockey and you drive a crooked hoss, Mr. Grinch. You're a three-decker sauerkraut and toadstool sandwich. With arsenic sauce. The holiday season is a perfect time to reflect on our blessings and seek out ways to make life better for those around us. Terry Marshall This year it has been really hard to focus on our blessings. The holidays are not only a time to celebrate, but to give to others and be thankful. We can always make everybody else's lives just a little bit better by giving back to the community and donating. Thanks to everyone who donated and participated in the food drive on Monday, we collected a total of 559 pounds to donate to the Dulles South Food Drive. I am so grateful to be a part of such a generous community. Now enjoy this next song, our own rendition of Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. Just want you for my own. Mom. 
they were big things. Robert Brawl. Some of the little things that mean a lot to me are visiting my grandparents and hiking with my friends. Another little thing that I've taken for granted in the past is being a part of Freedom High School's chorus concert. Our winter concert is always so fun and festive. We even have a tradition to close the concert with a performance of Carol of the Bells alongside our teachers and alumni. Although we cannot physically be together to sing this year, we would like to close our showcase with a video of last year's performance. This year has taught us to cherish future opportunities to sing with our chorus family and appreciate the time we were able to spend together.
close of our FHS Chorus Virtual Winter Showcase 2020, I'd like to take a moment to honor our Chorus seniors. This year, I'm fortunate to have 25 amazing seniors in the Freedom Choral Department. I'm sorry you did not have the opportunity to perform Carol of the Bells on the Freedom stage one last time as a Freedom student. This is not the way any of us envisioned your senior year would go, but I challenge you to make the best of our current situation. You are talented singers, fabulous leaders, and bring joy to my life as well as the lives of all who love you. I miss you and I'm proud of you.